If you run an online business, then you already know how time consuming it can be to deliver quality content consistently for your blog. Not only do you have to write your posts, but then you have to make sure they look good online too. Well, what if I told you you can reduce the time and number of clicks it takes to publish pro looking content by having the right tools, templates, and content creation process in place. In this video, I'm gonna show you a five step strategy using review posts as an example that combines the power of Thrive Theme Builders custom post templates, Thrive Architects content templates and symbols features, as well as Thrive Leads WordPress category targeting feature to help you create better content faster. That's right, step five in this process is going to help you grow your email list too. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Matt from Thrive Themes. Let's jump straight into it. This is a demo site I created, and let's just say that the personal brand here is Esther Phillips, and she helps people improve their public speaking skills through online courses and content on her blog. Now this video is about how to use custom blog post templates in Thrive Theme Builder and content templates in Thrive Architect to speed up your content creation process. So if we look at Esther's blog, we see she has two main types of content. We'll call it her case study category content, and this is her default blog post template type of content, as well as tool review content, where she showcases different types of tools she uses to improve people's public speaking. So if we look at Esther's case study content, we see a content template where, of course, the, she has a header section and a top section that features an image and the title of her post. Then we have all the Thrive Architect controlled content area, text and images, testimonials, whatnot. And then back to the Thrive Theme Builder controlled bottom section area where we have an about the author box, related posts showed in a post list element, comment section element, a bottom section call to action and a footer. In the tool review custom blog post that we're going to create in Thrive Theme Builder, for this video, you'll see that that's a little bit different. We have a different featured image area, obviously a different content area, which we're gonna show you how to build shortly. And then we've eliminated several of the content features down in the bottom of the post. Let's get started. Step one in the faster content creation process is creating custom post templates inside Thrive Theme Builder. And we're gonna do that by starting in the template dashboard. Here is our default case study post. And to create the review post template, we simply duplicate the case study post because it's most closely matching to the review post we wanna create. We just need to make a few edits. A copy of that template type appears at the bottom. We rename it to review post template. And then we click edit to enter the Thrive Theme Builder editor. Once the editor loads, we can quickly change the template to reflect the type of content needs we need to show. So of course we won't adjust the header section because we want that to be consistent across all of our blog post templates. But we can change things easily like the top section area by replacing the, the page banner template. We scroll through the many templates offered of the top section in Thrive Theme Builder. Select the one we like, and you can see in just a single click, that entire top section area is modified. We'll scroll down to the bottom of the post template, and we can remove things like the about the author box, the post list element if we want. We can leave the comment section, and we can even make the bottom section call to action. We can remove the visibility by toggling the button there. And then say we're happy with that, that's the template we want for our review posts. We can click save and move on. You'll notice in the Thrive Theme Builder template dashboard that that review post template now is updated and ready to use for any of your new blog posts where you're going to review tools. So let's continue by adding a new post, giving the post a name, assigning it a category, which will be very important later on, 
and then assigning it a theme builder template type. So now our reviews post template appears, we'll select it and we can save that draft post and launch Thrive Architect. Once the new post loads, it becomes very clear what theme builder is controlling and what Thrive Architect is controlling. Basically everything outside of this post content area is Thrive Theme Builder and everything inside the post content area is Thrive Architect. We know we're in Thrive Architect because we see the architect icon in the upper right hand corner. But if there's anything we need to change about the template, we can just switch back over to Thrive Theme Builder by clicking the icon here. This brings us to step two in the faster content process, using content blocks to create a blog post content pattern. To begin, we're gonna actually drop a content box onto the Thrive Editor window first. And we'll just modify the margins and paddings to be zero all around. Now we can start adding content block templates for our product review pattern. We'll filter for product review templates and then select an overview template. So with this particular template, we can showcase maybe multiple microphone products that we'll discuss in this post. And another very cool feature of content blocks is that if you click on the main options tab, you can one click change the accent color to match your branding or your particular custom post style. And you'll notice that that updates all the accent colors within the entire content block template. We'll continue by adding a few more content blocks to the parent box and say, let's add a template that then focuses on an individual product where we can highlight different qualities of that product, say a specific microphone, and then change the accent color to match and add one more content block template, say a final pro con conclusion template to give our final recommendations for the product we want our visitors to use. This brings us to step three in the faster content process, saving your new content pattern as a Thrive Architect template. Now this is where the content box is very important. We need each of those block templates to be in a box because it's the box we'll save as a template. So we just navigate to that parent box in our breadcrumbs at the top of the editor window. And then we click on this disc icon. And this is where we can save our content as a template in Thrive Architect. We give it a name and we can even assign it a template category like review. Click save. And now to show you how this content template works, I'll delete the work that we did here and I can go up and search for the templates and symbols element and drop that onto the page, click on the templates type, and then select the new template we just saved in Thrive Architect. It loads up and now with a single click, we can use this same content pattern for every new tool review we produce. This brings us to step four, leveraging the power of Thrive Architect symbols in our content. Now, if we search again for the templates and symbols element, we can drop that onto the page. And instead of searching for our saved templates, we can search for our saved symbols. And you'll notice that I have a podcast symbols already created. Now, the difference between templates and symbols in Thrive Architect is simple but profound. With a template, you can use it in multiple places on your website, but if you modify any one template, it only modifies that instance of the template. However, if you use a symbol across multiple locations of your website, if you modify any one of those symbols, all of them update together. So in this way, if you have a particular type of content that needs to be updated over time, like say links to subscribe to your podcast, or perhaps you decide to start hosting your podcast on a different platform and need to add another button to this type of content, you can make that change once and have it apply everywhere. If you're interested to learn more about Thrive Architect symbols, check out the link in the description box below. Step five, creating opt-in offers specific to blog post categories. This is why it was so important to assign our new post to the review category. 
because now we can target opt-in offers specifically to visitors of that type of content. So let's assume Esther created this opt-in offer in Thrive Leads, where she's going to offer her recommended gear list to help people become a public speaking pro. And she will send that gear list to someone in exchange for an email address. So all Esther has to do to set this up is click on the display settings icon, click on categories and select review. Save that. And now when any review category post loads on Esther's website, her gear list opt-in offer will appear. So that's a look at how you can use Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect to deliver better content faster. And don't forget to use Thrive Leads to get the right opt-in offer in front of the right people to help grow your email list. If you have any questions or thoughts about what you've seen in this video, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video.